Hi Trinity Rock and Pop Drummers, hope you're well. This is a quick video about Are You Gonna Go My Way by Lenny Kravitz. Trinity Rock and Pop Drums, Grade 3. It's a great tune, straight ahead rocker. Uh, this part is pretty close to the original, not exactly, but pretty close. I think Lenny Kravitz did all this stuff on the original. I think he did drums and bass and guitar and sang. I could be wrong, but I think that's true. Um, let's go from the top, man. Flams. Hopefully, if you're attempting Grade 3, you're on top of your flams. We've got four of them in the bar to begin. Nice and smooth, this is in, on the intro. You got a kick drum that comes in on the and of beat three on the fourth bar. Bar five, next line we got one, two, three, four. So the vibe here is just flams on the snare all the way, big fat sound and the occasional kick punctuating on the upbeat quaver on the and. The drum fill at bar eight goes. So a flam on beat one, that's a quarter note or a crotchet. On beat two, you've got that figure which is a dotted quaver and then a semi-quaver, a dotted eighth and a sixteenth. That goes two, E and a. Uh. So you're playing the first and the last of four sixteenth notes. Two, E and a. Uh. Two, E and a. Uh. On beat three, you've got that figure from grade one, which is two sixteenths and one eighth. Two semi-quavers, one eighth note put together, one quaver put together. Three, E and. And then beat four. Another big quarter note or crotchet. So the first half of the bar goes one, two, E and a. Uh. The second half goes three, E and four. Obviously, in a big way, you can play this by ear as well. One, two, and three, E and four. Definitely worth taking the time to uh, work out the, the theory, the counting, the note values going on. That'll just help you so much as you go forward as well. Cool, then we're on to the ride for a nice straightforward rock beat. So kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, quarter note, quarter note, two eighth notes, quarter note. In the groove, uh, while your right stick plays eights on the ride, you've got a little variation in bar 12. One. That classic, again, grade one figure of uh, quaver, two semi-quavers, but, 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 like black current. So a pause between the first syllable or first note and the next two, but, but, but. Uh, that's a snare and a crash together on beat four and then and uh, both on the snare. Bar 13, groove just keeps going. Same sort of thing. There's a drum fill that takes us into the verse. Bar 16. One and two. So one and two eighth notes on the ride for the first beat. Two ah, uh, same figure as we had up in bar eight. Dotted quaver, semi-quaver. The first and the last of four semi-quavers, four sixteenths. Two e and ah. Uh. First half of this bar. One and two E and uh. Three E and two semi quavers, one quaver on beat three. Beat four. Bottom. Uh, drop chip. Second half of this bar. Whole bar, bar 16. Verse comes in, same groove, same sort of thing. It's a cool little variation of bar 20 that goes. That two R uh, figure we've talked about a couple of times already, the dotted quaver and semi-quaver, well that's played as part of the groove here. And the result is you've got an extra little snare drum, which drummers often refer to as a skip note, in between the ride cymbals, right? In between the ride on the uh, and of beat two and beat three. One, two, and three. Little skip note. Next line is the same, 21. Skip note in there. 25 just keeps grooving, same thing. Big drum fill. 28, iconic. So one, two, three, four. Ba -ba 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 I think that's pretty much what's on the original track as well. First figure there on beat one. One E R. This goes semi-quaver, quaver, semi-quaver. That's the first, second, and the fourth note of a set of sixteenths. One E and O would be all the sixteenths. This is one E A. Uh. One E A. Uh. Two and A uh for beat two. Little grade one figure, one quaver, two semi quavers, but, but, but. One eighth, two sixteenths. First half of this bar. One E and A, uh, two E and A. Uh. 
Then on beat three, that's a semi-quaver rest, a 16th note rest, two little knobbly bits sticking off the rest, just like you get two lines joining the notes up for 16ths. So we rest beat three, we play E and, a 16th and then an eighth, three E and, and then back to straight quavers at the end of the uh, bar there, four and, eighth notes. Second half of this bar goes one, two, three, four, and. Hold bar one last time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Now we're back to uh, groove again for 29. All the same stuff as before, remembering here that the convention is not to repeat a crash cymbal hit on beat one for grooves if you've got repeats of the groove. Um, loads and loads of more groove. When you finally get to, where is that, 37, we've got a pushed crash on the and of beat four here. Uh, this is bar 37. So that bar, one and two and three and four and, the idea of hitting the crash with the kick on the upbeat at the end. One. Resting for one, two, three, four, in with the big snare drum on beat four. I'll do 37 and 38. Back to the interlude, well back to the interlude, the interlude which is basically back to the intro. Drum fill at the end there, 42, one, crotch it, quarter note. Two, uh, talked about that rhythm a load of times already. Two, E, and, uh, the first and the last of four sixteenths. Three, E, and, so two uh, sixteenths, one eighth, beat four, a flam on the crotchet. First half of that bar, two, uh, second half of that bar, whole bar, bar 42. Back to the groove. And so on for 43, little drum fill at 46. Made up of all the same vocabulary we've seen so far. So one and two, a three and 40 and. One last time, bar 46. D, S, Al Coda, Del, Segno, Al Coda. Go back to the sign or the Segno which is a bar 17, and you keep going until you see the words uh, to coda, right? So you, in other words, when you finish that drum fill, <laughs> bar 46, you're gonna go all the way back to bar 17, play the verse again, that's totally cool. Play all the way through that. When you hit bar 32, the second time around, it says to coda with a thing that looks like a little crosshair, if you ever played a video game where you're a fighter pilot when you're a kid, and uh, that will make you jump then to bar 47. So to repeat, when you uh, have gone back from to DS Al Coda, you get to that point in the music, you go back to the sign, you play through another verse. When you get to 32, the end of the first line, second page, the second time around, you then jump to 47. Loads more groove. At the end of that line, 51, it's got that same, pu that same pushed crash symbol that we had at 37. Two bars rest, flams on the beat. Loads of that, the fourth bar is. Kick coming in on the upbeat eighth note for the and of beat three. One, two, three, and four. That's bar 57, we've now got three bars. Crescendo, starting super quiet, getting louder. 16th notes, single stroke roll. I would say here, start on the edge of your drum, get a really low stick height and a really light sound. And bit by bit, work it out. Nice accent on the first beat of the bar each time. Build that, I would say come up with your stick height, get stronger and move, for me, I think a great sound is to go from the edge of the drum, work your way to the middle. Show that you understand that dynamics is not just volume, it's tone as well, a lighter tone to a heavier tone. The drum fill then, 61. This time with a kick drum on every beat, has the same vocabulary that we've seen in the other fills. One, which is a quarter note, two, e and a, uh, that two a, uh, dotted uh, eighth and sixteenth figure. First half of this bar, 
three and a eighth note, two sixteenths, a grade one rhythm on beat three, and then four sixteenths of beat four. Second half of this bar, three and a four. The whole bar then, uh, 61. I'm going to play the whole line starting at 58. A three and a forty and a last line. That little skip note we talked about earlier first appeared at bar twenty. It's back, man. In between the right symbols on the and of beat two and beat three. One, two, three, four. Uh, and the big finish is one. Two, a uh, three, and four, and so the skip note that we did, that you talked about just now, in between the rides, two kicks like we used to on three and four, and on a pushed crash symbol on the and of beat four. Last bar, or last two bars. Let that symbol ring out. The little dot with an arcing line over it at the end is a fermata. That means a hold. So in other words, you just let that symbol ring, man. You let it all ring out. You just uh, choke it off at the end. Let it ring. That's it. Uh, eventually, you might choke it like once and everything else has stopped. Hope that's all making a bit of sense. It's an absolute banger. Really nice straight ahead rock tune. Some great uh, revision of grade one, grade two, like reading and note value vocabulary in the fills. A couple of new ones for grade three, I guess, like that dotted eighth and sixteenth thing in particular. Oh, and the ba ba ba. Uh, on beat one, bar 28. That's a new rhythm for grade three as well. Ba, 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 one, e, uh. Otherwise, that's a banger, I think. Could be a nice one to start with, I would say, for grade three. Thanks so much. Any questions, give us a shout. See you soon. Thanks a lot.